So you all laughed at me in my last BMW video, 1150RT, where I did a little bit in the gym. Who's laughing now? I'm still in my gym and... Oh. Uh, yes, hello. In my video again. Anyway, next video. I'm just doing a few for you. Shh. Just doing a few for you while obviously kind of asked around and I thought I'd fill in there. Just watch my vlog with the new tyres. We're going to look at them next. Video today containing oil change and filter, sorting out a bloody seat, because that's a bit mental on the other side. I'm gonna put the back bumper on. Shh, and I'll get you, get you. You can have a look at the um tires that I put on as well, I actually see them. It's funny where pan. <sighs> right. That's me done. Say hello. Oh god. Ugh. I soon won't be able to pick her up, but it's getting bigger and noisier. God. Ugh. Yes. Right, check out this video. Hello, Mark Savage here. In the description, I've already done an oil change video. So it's going to be there for you because it's identical to this one that the black one, Mark one before. So I'm not going to go through this all again to simply say, look, Alan Keys, my little kit. Difference this time is that I have got a KM one. one um, I've noticed that it's actually got a spanner top on it. Oh, this one. Now, last time I took this one off, and I take the other side off and wiggle it down a bit. I don't know that now I've got a better kit and maybe a bit more wiser that um, I might be able to get this off without having to move everything out of the way. And last time, because <laughs> I wasn't sure if I could do it, I made sure I could get the filter off before I drained the oil out. As I've done it before, I know I can, so I'm gonna drain the oil out. Front, I'm gonna go through that in a minute. Anyway, get this oil change done very, very quickly. It was done 4,000 miles ago, I found some paperwork. Um, so it definitely, definitely needs doing. Some people like changing it to be thousand to 1,500 miles. Yeah. Um, but I, uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot, isn't it? So uh, let's get on with it. So I used my old faithfuls instead. And I'll tell you why. I didn't want to push the old little bit of sump down. Didn't need to with these. My kit's great, but these just nicely fit on and turn it round. Now, I used a can m filter this time. And it came with a kit, but also the fact it's a lot easier because it's a 70 mil top, which means under here, you can easily tie it up. Now, when I take this off again, it'll only be one side. I won't have to take the other side off either. Now, this is the sump. Let's get very close up. Can you see tiny little bits of metal there? I mean, this is made for, this is a magnet. It's, it's made to collect any bits in your engine that may be flapping around and always gonna end up in your sump but it does mean there is a little bit of wear on my engine. So, that's a bit of a bugger. Uh, didn't need that at all. But uh, I'm gonna clean it all up, pop this back in, put the side back on, fill it full of oil, and uh, see what she sounds like. Remember the saying in all my videos though, top it up, take for a ride, check. Nice and simple. Let's get on with the next job. So here we are at the back seat catch. Now, as you can see this lot, there's no way of getting all this up. So I can see why I got this little ingenious idea here. But what he did, he put it in this way and took this off. So it was sort of like, well, there was no spring to it. So as long as it was taut, it would keep it locked. And if it moved, it'd unlock it. So why didn't he turn it this way, put the catch back on now the springs there, Put this underneath and have it come through this side then he'd have the catch that's got the spring on it and when he pulls it it would undo so so he had the right idea with this little bit it's quite a good idea actually i don't know what this is about so i'm going to strain it out and then i'm going to have it come out this side and then tuck it away now the c would always have the spring against it which means the lock itself will be against it much better idea a simple fix because this here will now keep that taut and you can see, before, it was just swinging in the wind. But now with that like that, it will keep it taut. And I'm going to pull it, and it will pull it away and will spring back. But you're not going to get it all this up. I'm, I'm not going to mess with that. It's right down in there. Uh, that's for the battery, uh, power connecting, and all that sort of stuff. And starter. And, oh, I don't know. I'm not messing with that. Um, I could take all the underneath out. But again, sometimes simple ideas work. I'm happy with it, but he just had it the wrong way. So I'm just refining what he did. 
going to get a little king cat because what that's doing, that's causing it to catch on the bit of wire there. I'll straighten out a cut pair of pliers. And this isn't bad. Oh, best of a bad job, let's say that. But this will work, and that means that I feel the seat is more secure. I'm not gonna keep nothing under here anyway. Um, it's only got um, my tire puncher kit, which I always keep there, and a few tools. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna keep it in there. The likelihood of some bugger nicking it, it's really sad little fuck if he does that. Anyway, two jobs down. Just to show it working, see? That means now it works a lot better than it did before. Um, just remember to clamp that back up. What you don't want is putting it all back on again and you're never going to get the seat up. That's going to be an absolute bitch if it breaks. But you know what? Nice and easy, nice and tidy. Job done. You can see all these bloody wires he had though. That was the old charge. Let's get rid of that today. This was his um, wire that he had connected to the spotlights, which I don't want connected because so I might turn it on. And there's a load of other ones. I'm not quite sure what they do. Hmm. Not sure what that is. Is that the power command? Not seen that before. It's wired in. Um, anyone tell me what this is? I might have to Google that. It's wired in, obviously, and it works. I push the button and a little green light comes on. So I'm not quite sure what that is. I did find in here another little socket. I don't know if it was a sat nav or comms maybe don't know but that's something i'm gonna to have to understand that's the problem when you get second hand bikes you're never quite sure what someone's done or not done to them but uh yeah so far so good like nice little quick fixes like that you know yes i would have rather actually having the key working hey i may when i get it, take all the bits off and look at that right can ever you notice the front of the bike Look at that. They went really, really well on. Um, really happy. It's on the sides down here as well. Now I said to you, now I said to you I wasn't gonna pay for the side ones because I 80 to 100 pound or something. I went back on eBay and I found a guy selling them in white with Ducati that will go on the front panel here and along, along here and along the back. 30 pound all in. That's amazing. They're not gonna be 3D, they're gonna be decals and I'm gonna put them on just like my mini video. Oh, look, you've gotta watch that video, all right? My mini decal video, well worth a watch. That was a bloody hard job, but the results were phenomenal and you're using um, soapy water and squidging it out really, really does work. Didn't need that in the 3D ones, but you do need it when doing decals on the side here. You're just going to be bubble hell, it's like aero, wasting money. Anyway, they're in white, and a white bike. So I messaged the guy, and this is always worth doing. Another top tip. Don't worry if you see something that's not in the colours you want. Message the guy, and I messaged him straight back to me. Yes, mate, I could do them in red. Get them done over the weekend, you'll have them next week. So they're going to be on here. So by the time I get my um, tyres sorted, well, this is going to look the nuts. We're going to go for a vlog very soon. We've got a nice couple of sunny days coming up. Maybe because of the um, <laughs> all the vehicles that aren't on the road due to everybody self-isolating. But the sun is out. So, a vlog coming up. So there we go. It's back on and it's nice and tight. Just a few simple tools. That's what I love about working on a lot of bikes nowadays. You don't necessarily need a massive tool kit. Just nice and easy. Right, let me show you this back tyre. Hopefully in this light you'll get to see it. Chain, um, a little bit of a uh, movement there, but when I sit my fat horse on it, it does seem to tighten up. The sprocket's good, so I ain't gonna mess around there. Right, I don't wanna show you too much of the bike, because this is the next video of me putting the decals on. Um, so, let's have a quick look. Can you see that tyre now? There's a line here. And I do like it, look, can you see? The one, two, three, four, and five. Supposed to be different profiles there. If we go around this side, I know the light's not the best, but I've got chicken nine here. So, but all in, I'm quite impressed with this tyre, to be honest with you. And there's the back end now. That's not too bad on there. I might even put a little decal on there, just in case someone didn't notice a Ducati. And there we go. I often get asked, 
oddly enough, off them. <laughs> what camera have I got? What mic do I use? Well, I've always had a GoPro 4, and if I do my vlogging, I've got a little mic that I pop under my helmet, and that's not too bad. I've just recently bought myself a GoPro 5, because while doing this video, I dropped the damn thing on the floor, and you know how it had to land like, like I say, a slice of toast. It landed spank. I had the old lens, I really cleaned it up, and it's not too bad, and it's working well. But I'd ordered this one already, and got a good deal on this one as well. The volume on it, though, was a bit odd. Um, it had windy or stereo. I had it on windy. I noticed if I turned it round and turned it this way, it went quiet. So during this video, you'll notice um, it's me setting it up and getting used to it. Um, it's on stereo now, so hopefully you can hear me much better, better, better. Yeah, well, stay with me. <laughs> and this is it. What's coming up next then? Obviously, the decal video. So I don't want to show you the rest of the bike yet. <laughs> um, it's a good job of that, if I'm being proud of myself, I guess. Um, I want to whack in a car one as well. Um, you've seen it on the drive recently. A little Audi Q2. little review of there. And obviously, I'm still doing my F-150. Watch the video. <laughs> 600 people, I think, watched it. More. Give me more. <laughs> And hopefully, you know, you're staying safe. That's what I'm just trying to do. A couple of videos, it's been a while. And obviously I didn't want to just chat rubbish, so it's good to have something to do for a bike as well. All changes was really, really good. The Canyon feel I'm really impressed with. Um, it does run really well. I'm not having any gear change problems whatsoever. I may change the levers. Uh, I'll see how I feel and little touch up bits. But all in, I'm very, very happy with this bike so far. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Wash your hands, wear gloves, stay safe. You know, I think we lost another cut under people um, the other day. in Spain and uh, Italy are really, really hitting it hard, aren't they? Just from a bloody virus, you know. Gone from the computer to us. Uh, a bit scary, isn't it? And um, I think they're here to stay. I don't know if it changed life forever. I always, always shake people's hands. It's an old doorman where I, I hold one hand and I clasp the other one. And I used to do that in the door work. <laughs> You wonder why. I used to do it because I'm left-handed. So if anybody always got a bit shirt with me, I'm always holding a hand. They can't hit me. Do you know? So when I used to get a bit shirty, I knew I could hit him if I wanted to. But it's it's the reassuring thing. It's an honest thing as well. And I find shaking hands is, is very British. Um, and no longer. Arm bumping and, I don't know, leg bumping and saggy yellow, whatever it is. It'd be a, it'd be a new world until... Uh, until the next one, I guess, wasn't it? Because they're coming fast and furious, aren't they? And that's not a car program. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay with me. It's you. Your time for the camera. What do you want? Hmm? Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. Breakfast time, I'll find the milk, banana, one, two, three, four, a couple of raw eggs, I know there's controversy about that but hey, still alive, what's the worst I can catch, bird flu, then that one's already done the boat, it's got a problem Peanut butter, a bit of flavour. Always sticks to it. Mm -hmm. Never get it off. Get it off. Ah. Bit of cereal. Granola. Some strawberries. Put the lid on. Bon appétit.